Hey what's up it's Hugo here and today I want to make this quick video notifying you guys that Mac Heist just released a new bundle so if you're not subscribed to their newsletter you might not have heard of it so I thought I'd make a video about it. If you don't know what Mac Heist is yet it's a company they release uh, bundles every certain amount of time throughout the year and uh, it's a bundle of a bunch of Mac apps at a very discounted price so this time it's Nano Bundle 3 and it's $260 worth of apps for only uh, $10 or a $9.99 so uh, that's pretty much totally worth it and uh, it's pretty much less than the price of any of these apps individually so uh, if you already are interested in any of these apps that uh, are in this bundle it's pretty much already worth it and uh, what makes it even more awesome is that 10% of those $10 you pay for the bundle goes to a charity of your choice so there's a bunch of charities you can choose from uh, which is pretty cool so I highly recommend anyone to get this, uh, you know, any Mac user pretty much to get this. There are always a bunch of Mac apps, so uh, I highly recommend you subscribe to their newsletter as well to get notified for future bundles. But anyway, let's have a quick look at the apps they have. First off, they have Xscope, which is a, a bunch of measuring tools for your Mac. If you're a web designer, uh, for example, uh, or maybe image editing, like graphic design, you could probably also use this quite a bit. But uh, you can measure a bunch of things with it, like the amount of pixels, uh, you know, what the sizes and pixels of a certain image of a certain area on your screen, or look at the common like dimensions. I personally have used it for about three years now. I don't use it as much as I used in the past, or I used to in the past. Uh, but definitely a cool app uh, if you're anything of kind of graphic design or web design uh, stuff like that. So. Um, or any designer in general, I think it's it's quite a good tool to have, uh, definitely. Next up, there's iStop Motion. I've personally used this a few times for my studies as well. It's a really, really cool uh, app. You can make iStop Motion movies. If you don't know, guys don't know what that is, it's pretty much little movies uh, created out of a bunch of pictures. And what's really cool as well is that if you have an iPhone, they actually have an iPhone app that's free that you can download on your phone and it connects through Wi-Fi to the I stop motion app on your Mac and then you can just make like uh, stop motion movies with your phone or your Mac or you can also use an external camera like you can also plug in whatever camera you have and uh, usually it does recognize it so that's pretty cool in my opinion uh, that's I stop motion uh, quite a cool uh, app in my opinion and it's $50 value for only uh, less than $10 so yeah, that's totally awesome in my opinion. Totals, I've personally never used it, so I can't really say much uh, for it, but apparently uh, it is an invoice app or invoice making app. Uh, I personally don't you know, own my business or work for any small businesses, so I don't need to uh, make invoices. But if you do, uh, you might be interested in that, so you can make invoices with that. Uh, clarify. Uh, I have used it once, I think, uh, but that was quite a while back. But anyway, what it allows you to do is uh, it really helps you make written tutorials. So you can take screenshots, uh, crop them, resize them. Uh, do some. It has some minimal, like basic editing or uh, screenshot editing features, I guess. Uh, as well as you can caption your images and stuff like that. So you can add text and uh, so it has some pretty cool uh, features if you are a fan of making tutorials. It's really, really easy to make nice, uh, good looking tutorials with Clarify. So definitely a cool app. Then they have Fantastical. It's kind of an ad call uh, variation or at least uh, not really variation. It, the reason I personally think it's better than ad call is because it, it doesn't take as much space. It stays in your menu bar. You can see on these uh, screenshots. Uh, I think I might have mentioned it in the past in one of my videos. I'm not sure. Uh, but I have used it and it stays in your menu bar. You also have an iPhone app for it, which uh, you can sync it with. Uh, and it's kind of a minimalistic eye call uh, thing that just stays in your menu bar and it looks quite good as well so uh, pretty much a calendar app overall clean my Mac I've probably I think I've made a video about this about two and a half years ago so it's probably quite an old video by now uh, but anyway what clean my Mac uh, 2 in this case allows you to do is uh, if you want to free up some space on your hard drive if your hard drive is full on your Mac you might want to use this app to clean it up it uh, allows you to look, uh, you know, it will tell you where all the biggest files are, like what are the biggest files on your hard drive uh, that you might want to delete or not. Uh, it might also tell you like the files that you haven't used for the longest period of time. So, you know, maybe you forgot about them and you don't really need them anymore. So you can delete them as well as it can clean up like old cache files that might not be used anymore. 
uh, or need it for your Mac as well as like language files and stuff like that uh, that you never really use anyway so you can use this to free up some space on your hard drive uh, free up some gigabytes so definitely really handy uh, similar to Mac Keeper or uh, yeah pretty much only Mac Keeper and CCleaner I, th I think it's also available on Mac and there's some other apps that do the same thing uh, but I forgot the name of them um, yeah forgot the name sorry about that but anyway mm -hmm definitely cool app to clean up some space and as well as uh, after 10,000 copies sold there unlock new uh, new apps Pathfinder and a game called Little Inferno uh, I haven't played this game at all so I have no idea what it is uh, but apparently it's from the makers of a uh, world of goo which was quite a fun game in my opinion so yeah and Pathfinder that's kind of a variation of the finder app uh, except it's much more advanced and there's way more in-depth settings and customization options. I've made a video about it like ages ago, uh, but it's it's totally different now. So they've definitely changed quite a few things about it. Uh, but anyway, all that, all those apps you can get for uh, ten dollars. So I recommend anybody getting it. I'll leave a link in the description. Be sure to subscribe to the newsletter as well if you're interested in getting notified every time you wanna, uh, every time they release a new uh, bundle. I pretty much recommend any Mac user to uh, get these bundles and uh, hopefully some of you guys did not know about this yet uh, so it did help you guys uh, if you're interested in any of these apps. So I'll take it off for watching once again and uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.